Hi, and welcome to the team guide for Sanderfjord in Elite Serien 2020. I'm Steve Wiss, and this is brought to you by the Nordic Football Podcast. So let's have a look at Sanderfjord. And I'm going to be, unfortunately, quite negative in this uh, team preview because I'm uh, predicting them to finish 16th and rock bottom of the league. And I, I really struggle to see how they don't uh, really do anything better than that. Um, but they're newly promoted. They finished second in the Obosta again last year. They've got a really good manager in Marty Sifuentes, a Spaniard. Um, sort of, a, it's not really a big rivalry between them and Odd, but uh, it's sort of geographical. Neither side has a particularly big rival, but uh, so I've put that in there. It's not a huge one. Um, the stadium, um, I don't think they're going to miss the fans too much. They're not that well supported. I think there's a couple of one of the ends of the ground. There's uh, no uh, stands anyway, so um, it's not going to look an awful lot different behind closed doors there. Um, I mean, I've got big concerns about Sandy Fjord, mostly because they've lost key players and not really added them. But, um, yeah, so I'm not expecting too much from them this year. It's going to be a big struggle. Uh, but here we are. This is where Sandy Fjord is in Norway, for those who are interested. It's sort of on that west side, Oslo there, and you've got the Oslo Fjord, and then Sandy Fjord is here with a, quite a few of the towns and cities in this vicinity. Um, I say, small uh, stadium, uh, One at least one of the ends doesn't have any stands at all. I think it's terracing at the other so um, that's where Sanderfield is but let's look at their fixtures the interesting thing is they do have some sort of okay-ish fixtures you could say to start the season odd away I put that down as hard but it might not be as difficult as you think uh, then the start at home and I talked about this in the start preview for those who've watched it already um, this is definitely a, a fixture that both sides can fancy their chances in potentially between the two worst sides but someone's going to do well in it aren't they um, or even both might uh, get a decent draw. You know, Starback away, Augustin home, Beacon away, Sarsborg home. It could be harder. Um, you know, again, no gimmies, but it could be worse for them. They're not playing any of the really, really big sides in the first six. So, you know, that is a saving grace for them. But they just don't have a lot of quality there. And depth is, is a real problem. I mean, they've got two of the cheapest goalkeepers in the league. I don't know who's going to start here. But I don't really care. I don't think either of them are going to do particularly well. Um, one thing I say about Sandyfield, it's going to be a 4-2-3-1 formation. The coach isn't stupid. He's quite a good coach. He'll get the most out of them, and I think he'll try and make them as hard to break down as he can. And they'll be competitive uh, in, in that regard and, and, and put bodies on the line. So they're not necessarily going to get tonked that often, uh, apart from by the, uh, the the big sides. I think the biggest problem is going to be scoring goals. So you might get a little bit of change out of... Um, some of the defenders potentially if you were to look at uh, maybe Crouch or Wembango um, at left and right back um, I mean it's not cheap though is it 5 million but they might get forward get you maybe the odd assist if you get the clean sheet I mean if we do get a situation where the goalkeeper is obvious who's starting say Granlund starts 4 million isn't bad is it? if you really want to cheap out on your keeper and just hope he does get your points from saves and uh, and the odd uh, sort of clean sheet, not conceding that many, maybe, but it's just two question marks at the minute. Um, there's a couple of defenders who might start, say Grorud as well, but he's old. Um, you know, they're going to have to rotate him around. The best player in the team is Rufo. Um, he's going to play sort of left wing, I think, maybe attacking midfield. Um, but so anything really from sort of positive on the on an attacking point of view is going to come from Rufo. So you could look at him at six and a half million. I think he's going to be on on free kicks, from what I uh, gather. But let's wait and see. There's not really a lot else to write home about up front. George Gibson um, is probably going to get a lot of the starts, and uh, I've seen a few pick, people pick him at five million, and that is a very cheap price for a striker. Yet, but I don't think he's going mean, to. It's too many question marks. I mean, he's meant to be a bright talent, but he didn't even start a single game in the Obos League again last year, so. Let's just see, wait and see. Gussias may might uh, get minutes up front as well. Zé Eduardo is an interesting new signing in midfield, a Brazilian who's really been around the block. Um, and Brendan on the right hand side, uh, midfield or right wing, it's coming from uh, Lillestrøm could be interesting. But there's not really too much here at Sandefjord um, to write home about. I say the some people might want to gamble on a couple of players at the back here just to fill their roster up with, uh, in the hope that. You know, they might. I say they might not get battered too often. Uh, if they lose, it's probably going to be loads of one nils, two nils sort of defeats against the majority of sides. So that's a positive. Where the goals are going to come from, I just don't know. Um, so I wouldn't be looking at really midfielders or attackers. So it's going to be a long, hard season, I think, for Sandefjord. 
Um, and I don't think they're going to be a great watch either. But uh, I hope um, this uh, team preview gave you a little bit more info about them. Um, and um, as I say, that's going to be the end of this one. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. And uh, we'll see you again very soon for uh, another team preview. Thanks very much.